Hey, what's up guys? Laptop Nuts in the house with another amazing video and today I would like to talk about HP ZBook G10 16 inch mobile workstation. This beauty was just released this year and it comes with a tons of different configurations that you can choose from. You can go either from Core i5 all the way to Core i9 and you can actually choose anywhere from RTX A1000 all the way to RTX 40. 80. So pretty much a lot of things to choose from and also you can go up to 4 terabytes of uh, solid state drive and uh, up to 64 gigs of memory RAM but honestly I think they are overpricing this upgrade because if you want to go up to 4 terabytes they actually offering you at around $860 which is about the same for 64 gig of uh, memory RAM so which I think it's a little bit outrageous. Anyhow, the size and the weight of the machine is really amazing. So the laptop is actually about four pounds, which is about two kilograms. And again, it's the, it depends on the configuration. Obviously, if you will be adding, you know, uh, more RAM and it's just gonna change a hair, but not much. Anyhow, you will have this beautiful touch screen. There's actually two options there uh, HP is offering. You can go with either 1920 to 1200 with a 400 nits or 3840 by 2400 with a 500 nits. And both screens will be a touch. Then uh, you do have, and I think it's very, um, it's a newer feature because I did not see much on the previous versions of the ZBook. Uh, the HP is now offering the, the quiet keyboard. So, and it's truly quiet. Whenever you type on it you can barely hear any clicks and the most important part it has this anti-spill feature which I think is super important especially on those type of expensive machines you know uh, any situation can happen and I think it will save a lot of money uh, really wide touchpad uh, you do have an option for the fingerprint reader. I don't know why, but for the uh, webcam, there is only one option available, which is a 720p, but I guess it's, uh, it's more than enough. At least the HP thinks that way. Uh, anyhow, um, it does have the quad speaker. So there are two speakers and two subwoofers. Uh, available from Bang & Olufsen, which uh, will produce really amazing sound. And um, again, all the, the body is aluminum. And surprisingly, the such mobile workstation compared to all other ZBooks, it's very, very thin. In terms of uh, ports, which are available on both sides of the laptop, I have uh, kind of two uh, different opinions about having uh, so many ports on this particular machine. So uh, normally on all workstations, you will see uh, the full size HDMI port, uh, VLAN, uh, so on and so forth. So pretty much all available, all the ports are available. However, uh, they decided to simplify everything here. So it's, you only will have uh, a few type C ports and uh, USB port along with the audio jack and uh, obviously the port for the charger. On one hand, the lesser ports you have, the, 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 the less chance that something will break because a lot of those ports, they're being uh, directly soldered to the motherboard. So if in case they're fail or damaged, you would either uh, have to replace the complete motherboard or you would have to do go through this very difficult process of resoldering and, and installing the, the, the new port. And here, we only have, like I said again, uh, only only few external ports. So, uh, so I don't know. It's either you you will need to carry all the, all the time with you the adapter, uh, or just you know use your Type C ports, which quite a uh, common nowadays. So anyhow. Uh, I want to do the same procedure as I always do in all our uh, videos. I would like to remove the bottom case just to see what's going on inside. Uh, what can we upgrade, what we can repair, uh, how everything looks like overall. Alright, so let's take this bad boy apart. 
and see what's going on inside. So first thing first, we're always starting from the bottom case and removing all the screws. So there are total five. Uh, there is one screw hiding right underneath that rubber feet, uh, right in the middle of that. So make sure don't miss it, otherwise you might bend uh, the bottom case while you are uh, removing it. Another hint for you, uh, whenever you done pulling all the screws out and will, you're gonna be using your pry tool, make sure to use either left or right side, doesn't really matter, but the farthest, the back corner where the uh, LCD connects with the palm rest, because on the front part, there are uh, clips which are holding the uh, bottom case and palm rest together. So if you're gonna start pulling it from that side, you will damage the clips and then the bottom case, whenever you're gonna install it back, will not align properly. And here it is. So as we can see here, uh, what do we got here? Pretty large size heat sink, which cools off the GPU and uh, CPU. It has a two large uh, cooling fans. As far as I can see that both on both sides, USB ports and uh, audio ports, they all uh, solder directly to the motherboard. Here's the, uh, the battery. It actually has a fa fast charging six cell battery so if in case you need to replace it uh, please uh, reference uh, actual HP part number uh, now I will be removing the uh, memory RAM caddy just to show you uh, what's going on underneath it so there are two memory RAM sticks with a 16 gig each they are both are DDR5 uh, you can actually uh, upgrade both of them to uh, up to 32 gigs each uh, here is the worst part. The Wi-Fi card is soldered directly to the motherboard. So if in case it breaks, it's going to be a bummer to replace. I was actually surprised that this machine only has uh, one SSD slot. As I, you know, I think it's always good to have two just for upgrade purposes. Uh, currently, the machine comes with a 512 uh, gig of storage. However, you can go up to four terabytes. Well... Thank you guys very much for watching. Peace to everybody and much love.